three, connection, the compact. The school community's goals and roles are established in the compact. Community members have been educated. Now it's time to connect people directly so that they can learn from each other about their work together in pursuit of the school community's goals, the topic of part three. There are several ways to provide connections at school, at home, during parent-teacher conferences, through family school nights and open houses, to name a few. And there are several connections to be made, parents and teachers, parents and parents, parents and students, and student and teachers. Homeschool Connection. The first three of the indicators within the connection segment address homeschool connections, which formally occur through conferencing and other school events that give parents an opportunity to meet with teachers. Let's look at conferencing first. Parent-teacher conferences are held at least twice per year and include students at least once a year. Parents are given opportunities at parent-teacher conferences to discuss both their children's progress in school and their children's home-based study and reading habits. All teachers use a common agenda with next steps for teachers, parents, and students in the parent-teacher and parent-teacher-student conferences. None of you are stranger to parent-teacher conferences, but let's talk about some ways that you can get the most of this valuable time and help parents to help their children at home. The first indicator addresses the frequency of parent-teacher conferences, twice per year with students involved, at least one of them. These conferences provide an ideal opportunity to discuss students' progress in meeting learning standards at school and practicing them at home. Involving students in the discussion reinforces their responsibility in their learning as well and demonstrates how each role complements and reinforces the others. Using a common agenda for parent-teacher-student conferences and distributing the agenda in advance of the meeting helps the teacher, parents, and students prepare for the meeting and know what will be covered. In many cases, schools use the student's report card as a focal point for discussion. This document should be a comprehensive assessment of progress toward mastery of learning standards. Whether the report card contents are determined by the district or the school, it is important that it facilitates two-way communication between the school and the home regarding student learning. That doesn't mean that the conversation centers just on their success in school. It also includes the work they are doing at home to reinforce it. In your workbook, we've provided you with a list of questions that will help determine if your current report card accomplishes that. We've also provided you with a sample agenda for parent-teacher-student conferences and some helpful tips that you can provide to parents in preparing for the conference. You'll notice that this agenda ends with the next step segment for assigning what parents, students, and teachers will do as a result of the meeting. A copy of the conference is kept on file for the student to be reviewed at the next conference, even if it is next year with a new teacher. Open houses and family school nights provide an additional way to connect home and school to learning. The school uses open houses as an opportunity to convey to parents that what goes on at home impacts students' academic performance. Here's one teacher's insight on the benefits of these family school events. We have a reading night in here or a math night. So what we'll do is at that night, we'll show them and go over the different um, techniques and ways to have them acquire, you know, like a quiet space. Some students need a desk. Some students need the quiet space. It, you know, research is showing that maybe they need music in the background, you know, just different things. And we're letting them know that each child learns differently. So they need to see and, and kind of keep track of what their kid and what works best for their student or their child. It's a smooth transition because if they're doing it at home, they come in and they say, oh, I do this at home, I did this at home, I learned. And then when I go, they go home, they teach their mom or their you know, grandma, hey, this is what we did at school, and then they do it together. So it, it's, it makes them more comfortable, makes them um, feel like they have accomplished something. And so when they're, I guess when they feel like they have accomplished something, then they can come in and they actually do it. So it, it's, you know, it builds their morale. It does make my job easier because, you know, now it's getting reinforced. What I have being done in the classroom can go home and be reinforced with, at you know, home life. And then they come in and they actually will come in and they might show you, well, my mom showed me this strategy. 
And so they might come show us a different strategy in math, how mom used to do it. And, I, and so then, you know, we can show different strategies and they work amongst each other to show each other. Open houses and family school nights, which we'll discuss in a moment, serve as ideal events to reinforce learning standards and the importance of the curriculum of the home. In your workbook, we've provided you with a template to use for planning open houses. Included in these templates are parent feedback forms that the school community council can use to improve the event each time it is offered. Parent-parent connection. The next connection that we will address is the parent-to-parent -parent connection. Earlier in the education segment, we discussed the value of multi-session group sessions, both in developing the knowledge and skills of parents on particular topics, as well as facilitating relationships and connections among parents. These next couple of indicators demonstrate some of the ways those connections are made. The school provides family school nights, where families and school personnel get to know each other and discuss their mutual roles in students' learning. The school provides a room for parents to meet. In addition to parent-to-parent -parent education programs, family school nights, open houses, parent rooms, and home gatherings provide additional ways for parents to get to know one another and discuss the curriculum of the home. Their children's learning and the support that they lend to that learning is a common bond for parents. Sharing their experiences, strategies, successes, and challenges with one another in implementing the curriculum of the home becomes an invaluable resource for parents. Let's listen. First, we'll hear about family nights and open houses. Then we'll hear about a school's successful parent room, another way to bring parents together. The pancake uh, dinner was in conjunction with the open house. The whole idea was how can we get uh, parents to want to come to the school and come to the open house. And our, our, the whole idea was to, to get parents more involved and want to, well, not only want to come here, but then interact with uh, their, the teachers and find out what their kids are doing in school and what ISPIN does as a committee and how they can see us as a resource to get, it, to get involved with the, with the the school and the, and the community as well. So one of the things we did was go to um, our community partners, um, hy V, uh, the Lions Club, um, Sam's Club, which is here in our in our community here, and asked them to be part of hosting this. We and the firefighters came and cooked the pancakes, which was wonderful. The kids thought it was great to see them here in our school and flipping pancakes. So um, that was um, the purpose, and and really the outcomes I think were that we had you know. Know, I think close to 400 families come through out of our 400 plus. Um, so I think we we had um, I think over 60 percent of our families participating, which was a great number. Um, I think that um, from what I understand, that was an increase in numbers from years past. Um, and we had families, you know, sitting down and meeting each other while they were having, you know, their pancakes, having their dinner, um, finding out, you know, about each other. Uh, we had questions on the tables for families to be able to interact with their kids and ask them specific questions about what they were doing in the classroom, what are they learning right now, so creating that and hopefully being able to translate that and take it home. I know that's one of the things we do already. You know, what did you do today at school? And, and hopefully helping them be able to translate that as well and take that back home. Was um, connections with communicating with parents wow. to parents and teachers to parents and what we've done is created um, sort of a, we have the parents when they come in for open house and other meetings sign up with emails and then if they are willing to, those emails are shared with the other parents in their child's class. And that way, if they need help with a carpool in one day or you know other things that are coming up, you know how to get in touch with everybody and you've met them before, you've been in school with them and at the third grade level most of these parents have been with each other for at least a couple years so it's a little easier on my grade level than when it's pretty new with the first grade but um, I know a lot of my parents have really responded to that and are, are really pleased to have that kind of information and those connections with each other. And, and that um, evolved also into us instead of having a whole school um, family event, now we do it grade specific so that parents can meet other parents and their children. You know, if their child comes home and has been talking about somebody in the class, now they have that opportunity to meet that classmate and see the, so we're building that small community and um, trying to strengthen the relationship.
and put there. in education at the same time. Right. Yeah, we always try to squeeze almost it. easier on grade <laughs> level because what's appropriate for third grade is certainly going to be a little above most Different. first graders. Yeah. So and since they were kindergartners, coming up with their readiness now moved into my bracket into first grade. When we work with our math night, you were alert, alluding to before, we have the opportunity to take these same parents and allow them to visit every single classroom to take a look at each component that is taught in this new math program, give them a hands-on opportunity and the rubbing elbows opportunity because they're getting to know um, maybe the child came home and said, Mom, can I have so-and-so over to play? And Mom says, I don't even know this child or his parents. Great. We just had that opportunity. We ate pizza together and we played a math game together. So one of our goals was providing opportunities for the parents to get to know each other. And um, it's, it's come along really nicely. Um, we had the parent room since from the, sort of from the beginning. Just having like sort of, they say a pretty good core group of people that come through and and I think just touching base with them, talking with them about what, you know, um, just getting to know them personally a little bit, whatever they're willing to share and, and their kids. And um, not being a parent, I have to really sort of be able to put that extra effort into figuring out who's who. Um, and so really trying to do that. And the resource room has been a good thing for that. So whether it's, you know, coffee, treats and whatnot coming through and, um, you know, talking with parents about, you know, just how, you know, their kids, what they like to do, and, and anything that might come up. And conversations have been somewhat just very sort of superficial conversations to like things that are, you know, people saying some pretty in-depth things about what's going on for them and their kids and, and being able to share that. And, you know, it's input for me that I can say, okay, well, these are things that are, that are valuable and, and things that we should try to address at some point. As you can see, family school nights and other forums, including open houses, provide a great opportunity to convey to parents the impact that their involvement at home has had on their child's success in school. By discussing the compact, the curriculum of the home, and the homework guidelines, parents learn what they can do to help their child succeed. And when they have dedicated space to meet, even better. In your workbook, we've provided you with some tools to help plan for events that bring parents together.